Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about converting a 2D photo into a 3D photo using plain mesh in Photoshop. Uh, when I first started looking at uh, all the options there are for converting a 2D photo into a 3D photo, there really wasn't much available and the, the, the process that to create a 3D photo is uh, uh, very difficult. So this method that I'm going to show you right now is not too difficult. It'll give you some uh, 3D action to your photo, but it's not uh, what you might think. So let's just go ahead and get started with this. Here I have a picture of M51. I've already resized it to a, a size that's 800 wide. I kind of reduced it so it would perform better in the 3D uh, uh, demonstration here today. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to s select the image by Control A then I'm going to do press control C to copy the image and I'm going to say file new and just leave it uh, we'll call this the uh, grayscale image <coughs> now I'm going to paste this into the new image which is control V and the reason I'm doing this is uh, you'll soon find out uh, this image right here is the one we're going to create the uh, 3D effect on and the way you do that is you go to image adjustments hue and saturation and you take the saturation down to, to minus 100 and what we're doing is we're taking away all the color of it and the second step you're going to do is you're going to, to take the lightness and bring it down to about minus 75 now, the way this uh, plane mesh works is that everything that's bright and white, it's going to raise that up to give the 3D effect. So if you don't tone it down a little bit, what's going to happen is you're going to have all these large spikes from your stars. And this is the reason why you go here and you create this uh, particular grayscale image on its own, because that way you can play around with it, maybe modify it a little bit to uh, you know, get the... Uh, the correct level raised on the stars. So I'm going to say OK right now. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a Gaussian blur to it. Again, this will take the uh, uh, the the big blurs, I mean the big uh, streaks or the the big points out of the image. Uh, about a, a three on the uh, pixel radius will will do you good. Just give it a slight burn, not nothing too much. Again, you'll probably be best to experiment around and, and find one that works well for your particular image. Okay, so now that we've got this image grayscaled and blurred a little bit, we're going to go to the next part. And I like to keep uh, the two images here going at the same time and create actually a third one for the actual 3D project. So what we'll do is I'll go back to the original image, which is here, Control A, Control C to copy it. I'm going to say File new. I'm just going to call this the uh, 3D and we'll say OK. I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here, Control V. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to this grayscale image that I created and Control A, select it all, Control C, copy it, go back to the 3D image here and Control V and paste that on as a new layer. Now what we do here is we go to the 3D menu and we say New Mesh from Grayscale Plane and we select that. And What it has done is it's uh, created this uh, new uh, grayscale layer here and this part where it says Diffuse, in this particular case it calls it Layer 2 because that's what I did here, but what I'm going to do is uh, you double click on that layer to open it up. So now we have this diffused layer up. You can see it says layer 2 PSB. Now I'm going to go back to the original color image. Control A to select it all. Control C to copy it. And go back into this right here, this uh, PSB uh, image. And Control V, paste it right over the top of it. Now that that's on there, I'm just going to close this image out. Now what it does is it will bring it back into our 3D uh, image that we started. So I'm going to close it out and I'll ask you, 
Uh, save changes, yes, and all it's doing is it's saving the changes to your original, um, you know, 3D image that you were working with. So just say yes here. Now let's go back into the 3D image right here, and you can see it's changing a little bit right now. But the last step we do is we go to 3D and you go to render settings, and under the render settings, the face style you change that to unlit texture. Then you say OK. And now we've got a little bit of a, a 3D view here. Let me show you what it looks like. By the way, in order to move the image around to get the 3D effect, you have to select this uh, 3D rotate tool. And I just use this one. Now, if you move it around a little bit, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in this video or not, but you can see there's a little bit of a raised texture to it. And I'll show you what I mean about the uh, the whites being brighter and being higher than the others. Now here's the the pulling this down, and you can actually see how the whites are raised really high. So that's where you might have to go back into your grayscale image and make some changes so that it's not these gigantic peaks. But as you can tell, it gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. Uh, I, this is about the best that I have found so far in Photoshop to do. It's pretty easy and uh, you can you know zoom in on it and look around it it gives it kind of a nice effect you might be able to use that in some kind of a project that you're you're thinking about making 3d I wanted to thank you for uh, attending today's little 2d to 3d session and I want to remind you about uh, visiting myastroimages.com and you could possibly win a coffee mug with your winning astro image so please stop by and take a look there We'll see you later. Bye.